From the dawn of time, man has expressed himself through art. From cave paintings to hieroglyphics, they served as a way to communicate messages and ideas to one another. When walls got too boring, they painted on the ceiling. So if you have an idea but are not quite sure how to get it out there for others to see, we're going to show you exactly how to do it. Now I know many of you are thinking, isn't that graffiti? And isn't graffiti illegal? Well, yes it is, but you can also view it as art. Many artists have become very hip to using stencils because it can be easily duplicated and used later on. Now enough with this history malarkey, let's get our hands dirty. The fine for committing graffiti in California is up to one year in prison and or a $2,500 fine. So you might want to go put your art in a place that's a little more acceptable. These folks decided to put theirs in the bulb in Berkeley, California. This is a little strip of land inhabited by a 10-foot wire woman and the occasional odd scary hobo. It's home to some of the most magnificent public street art around. There is everything from sculptures to traditional spray paint tags to painted murals. If you are going to be contributing your art publicly, we strongly encourage you to do it in a place that is acceptable just as this. Your stencil, of course, is the most important part of your tags. So if you're having a hard time coming up with an idea, why don't you use something you're familiar with? Here, this female mannequin named Natalie hangs on the wall in the apartment. Why not make the stencil out of her? Seems simple enough. For this stencil, the gentleman wanted Natalie to look three-dimensional. This required them to make two separate stencils for her. The first layer is the basic outline of her torso. Then, create a second stencil that will be used to define her shadows, giving her some depth. Once you find the spot that you want to put your piece down, we highly recommend that you go a day in advance to put a coat of white paint down. First, make sure you lay down your base color by using the stencil that outlines the torso. This will be there to help define the shape later on. After the paint dries, line up your second stencil properly over the previous layer and cover all areas that aren't meant to be covered. Don't worry too hard if your paint starts to bleed down a little bit. It might look cool, say hey guys, that was intentional. After you're done with your piece, feel free to sign your name or a personal tag. Just don't put too much personal information, you don't want to give the cops too big of a lead. Good job team! That looks incredible, your work is done. Following these easy steps should get you going on your own stencil art in no time. Just remember to have fun. And don't get caught.